Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Coding. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to create um, this classic plexus effect. Um, plexus is like the effects of uh, interconnected points and edges. Um, this is actually, I think, um, available on After Effects or something. Um, you can generate this quite easily using the template from animation nodes, but I will show you how to create this using Spreadshop. Okay, so let's get started. Get to compositing. And right away, I will generate some points. So random vector will do the job. And gonna use viewer draw. And let's make a bunch of points. So they are pretty random, but they're actually only like outside of sphere. If you if you want something that's more random, you use randomized input vertices together with with this guy. So now you have points that's more random. Now um, all we need to do is uh, to connect those points together, and we already know the way to do that, and that's uh, by using KD3 closest edges. So you just use this node and if you plug in the, the points and the edges, you should get uh, some kind of plexus effect. It's actually connect, I think by default it connects every points to every points. So it's uh, especially if you increase the number of maximum depth. Um, yeah, if that's what you want, that's cool. It's like a spider web basically. But if you reduce the number, actually, it is it uh, it's a little bit more interesting this way. And I think for the plexus effect, you actually want it to be like triangle as well. So you might want to use fill holes. And make sure, I think the sides, three or four sides, if you just want to the trees, just make sure it, this is select to three. So yeah, that's pretty much it actually. The, there's nothing much to it. And if you want to control the points a little bit more, like, um, let me think. You can use like vector noise, for example, and vector math. Uh, just make the points to to go through the vector noise, and then add them together, and then we had we're gonna have something a little bit more interesting, especially when they when it's starting to move. There you go, and just give like a frame number there in the in the z axis. Let it move. It's too fast at the moment. Just uh, slow it down. So yeah, you should get that kind of plexus effects. And if you want to make it a little bit better, you also want to have the edges, the connected edges, somehow. Um, and in order to do that, you just need to use um, polygon boom and let's see, a polyline viewer set to single because you don't want to end up with thousands of objects. So basically, here I break, I'm breaking all the edges, and so that we have just the edges and then just connect them again using uh, this polyline viewer. Polyline viewer actually outputs a, like a curve. I'm gonna give it a material. Curve material. Assign it here. Give it a color. And that's actually pretty much it. 
this uh, fill holes actually generate the mesh but we also need to have the edges right so this for the edges I'll give the color like yellow for the edges and then maybe blue for the face and the curve should have actually should have like a greenish color so these are all this is the all the effects working together there you go that's a I think that's the plexus effects um, yeah more or less is the the plexus effect um, you might wanna give a random polygon face transparency and you should get something that looks like plexus effects I don't know it's just like a bunch of interconnected points maybe this can be improved somehow but uh, that's pretty much it and yeah, I'll reduce it more actually and increase the number of points maybe we have four two hundred make it three hundred make it four sided as well yeah I guess that's uh that's the effects right there I think you can try baking it as alembic and see how how it works with you um yeah that's a quick plexus effects if you want to use the animation nodes one uh, that's actually pretty basic you you just need to use the particles that's how it works assign particles so you have particles falling down and you switch to animation nodes and use the templates network from particles polygon get our icosphere and the output should be the mesh data just select a mesh data object and you should get the plexus effects this guy doesn't generate mesh somehow it's just like it just generates uh, the edges similar kind of effects so if we go back to the stretch up one turn off the face uh, there you go it's more or less actually the edges um, should be coming from the other guy I might actually made a, a little bit of mistake there so K3 polygon face So fill holes, this guy should be from here. There you go. So we don't need to have this guy. So we only have like two objects. Yeah, I guess that's a uh, slightly better looking. Thin edge, less subdivision. You know, just you want to have that kind of look. And for the background, let's just make this paper like display render only window world background. Plexus effect, maybe this should be, I don't know what color best, white. Okay. Yeah, I think this, we just need some kind of transparency run the simulations so with spread chalk you can actually use a particle as well that's not a it's not a big deal but here you are generating your own points and have this kind of complex looking effect maybe this random is too random uh, if I skip that one
Yeah, maybe this also will work. So yeah, just play around with these effects and find the one that suits you. But basically, KD3 closest edges do the job for us. This thing is very, very powerful and very easy to use. Okay, that's something interesting. So that's pretty much it for this live coding. Um, hopefully you find this useful. Um, any feedback, suggestion, let me know in the comment section and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.